Syracuse. You guys know that I'm excited about this one. Syracuse 32, Purdue 29. Whew. Uh, what a what a ball game. What an absolute ball game this was. I I can't even begin to describe the emotions that I felt in this game because Garrett Schrader was not good. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this game was 10-9 to Syracuse going into the fourth quarter. And Syracuse scored 22 points and Purdue scored 20 in the fourth. I mean, they were swinging haymakers at each other back and forth, back and forth. It was bonkers to see this. I, I can't even tell you uh, what I was feeling because I had a large sum of money on Syracuse in this game. And, and they just looked awful. Uh, 82 Atlantic jumps in. Why did Vegas make Liberty a double-digit underdog versus Wake Forest? I hopped all over that when I first saw it. Uh, because Liberty is still playing their third-string quarterback based on when the season started. Now, Salter is still really good. But that's not one of the games that, uh, that I'm planning on, on going over today. But, yeah, Liberty is good, but they, they've had a lot of things break their way. Regardless, if you bet it, you were certainly on the right side. If you bet Liberty, you were on the right side. Uh, but, yeah, looking at Syracuse, you know, 42 combined points in the fourth quarter. Garrett Schrader missed just open dudes all day. And it's not like he he threw it and it didn't go where it was supposed to go. It was he missed guys running wide open multiple times. And it drove me absolutely bonkers. And and he goes from where he can't hit the broad side of a barn to where he's throwing absolute dimes. That let, I have to give him kudos on the last one. Because, my goodness, what a perfect throw. With pressure in his face, absolutely dropped a dime in there for the touchdown. Now, the pass interference before that, eh, probably questionable, maybe, right? Like, I don't, I don't think that that was pass interference, especially with the fact that the ball went off into the stand somewhere. But, eh, you know. Like I, I'll take it because I had a big ticket on Syracuse. So, uh, post game win expectancy: Syracuse only twenty eight percent here. At, look at these total yards: four eighty five to three oh six in favor of Purdue. Yards per play: six point three to four point seven. Now Purdue did have a turnover. There were it, it, the third downs heavily skewed in Purdue's favor. Uh, by the way, the fact that Syracuse could not get anything going on the ground here. Purdue's got something going on. Like, I, George Karloftis, which, by the way, if you watch Thursday night uh, NFL football, George Karloftis is an absolute beast. He is already playing major minutes for the Kansas City Chiefs as a rookie, and he was just at Purdue last year. And Purdue doesn't, they don't have guys like that that grow on trees out in Purdue. Like, at West Lafayette, don't produce that stuff. And yet, they lost him, and that defense still kind of doing its thing. You know, very, very surprising. Uh, looking at the fourth down tries, of course, Syracuse hit their only one. Purdue was one of two. Scoring opportunities. Purdue had more, and they had more points per scoring opportunity. They were better at finishing drives. Syracuse, however, did get that one touchdown off of a turnover, a defensive score. Uh, both teams' field position was basically the same as far as average. Uh, this was... this w- The game changer was that defensive score. For Syracuse, they were not going to be able to move the ball efficiently at all. And getting those extra points obviously was the difference in the ball game there. Um, I mean, just it, looking at the numbers, my gosh. By the way, Aiden O'Connell, uh, just absolute banger here. Aiden O'Connell, uh, yeah, 82 Atlantic. Aiden O'Connell's pick six in the fourth quarter is among the worst interceptions I've ever seen in my life. Yes. Yes, indeed. However, uh, when you go and look at AOC's numbers, 39 out of 55, 424, three touchdowns, one pick. Look, they're asking him to throw the ball all the time. All the time. Like, you got 55 passes to only 22 runs. Like, and, and those runs obviously include, like, you know, sacks or, or whatever. So, yeah, you're asking him to do a lot in that offense. You're going to have bad plays every now and then. It's it's the old Bear Bryant adage, right? With the when you pass the football, you've only got three things that can happen, and two of them are bad. 
<laughs> you can throw a pick, you can throw an incompletion, or you can complete the pass. So, a lot of different ways. A lot of different ways it could go. But, man, what a ball game. What an absolute ball game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.